What is up, casters of Azeroth? My name is Remy, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the newest uh, hotfix and class tuning that just was announced. It was announced yesterday, but it was uh, shared with us and went live today's maintenance reset. There were some great buffs and hot fixes and stuff that went into effect, and I'm very happy about it, and we're going to talk about all of that uh, or not, actually. I'm going to link them in the description box down below. You can go read them for yourself. I'm just not going to read a page from Wildhead. That's ridiculous. The thing that I'm the most excited about is the tailoring profession gaining this Invoker's Cord and Invoker's Mantle. It is at this supplier right here in uh, in Darnassus. Forgive me, Horde players. I don't have that pulled up, but uh, it's just right here. It is not a limited time purchase right it's not a limited time purchase but what is a limited time purchase is this bad boy right here and i think it sells for like a gold on the auction house so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and buy one of those uh or maybe i just wasted 30 silver anyway the invoker's mantle sh shoulders that provides damage and healing seven and five intellect and the invoker's cord level 25 provides damage and healing and intellect as well already a ton of both of these on the auction house they do look kind of cool i like you know i do i do dig them nice little bit of uh, of stats there and the waist is uh, already under a gold. No problem. This is going to plummet, right? As people log on today, the prices are going to plummet. You can take advantage of this right now if you want to, but that's really not the point. The point that I'm talking about here is the pre-best in slot nature of these uh, of these items. And since I am a uh, since I'm a druid, I'm going to talk about the uh, the Boomkin version druid. If I wanted to do, let's see, there aren't any even on here. <laughs> what about cloth shoulders of, of wrath? Yeah, okay. Sage's Mantle of Frozen Wrath, Arcane Wrath. Look at this. Sage's Mantle of Arcane Wrath, 11 spell damage. It's 15 gold. Obviously, you pick your spell damage, whatever version of this that you are, if you're a mage or, or whatever. You're just trying to gear up for the raid. Maybe you just hit 25. Look at that. That's, that's crazy. This one, I guess this one's only like two gold. But still, okay, so these are 11 Frost, 11 Arcane, 11 Shadow. You can pair that with the Invoker, which is uh, 7 and Intellect, right? 7 and Intellect. So it's 7 Healing and Damage, not just Nature, not just Arcane, not just Fire, right? So it works on all schools. It's Healing and Damage and the 5 Intellect. And it's going to be significantly cheaper as long, you know, the longer that this goes. And the same thing can be said here. Let's go check out the Waste armor leather waist wrath and again this is pre best in slot stuff there isn't any wrath items for leather wearers on waist uh so so shamans and uh, moonkin druids you got nothing you got to go to cloth i suppose and take a look at this oh my goodness look at this fiery wrath 28 gold fiery wrath 34 gold fiery wrath level 22 eight gold. like this is this is crazy there is no arcane or nature or whatever if you are a uh if you're a druid or, or a shami here, but if we take a look at the invoker, and these are, let's see, 11. This is 11 damage. If we search for invoker, this is seven damage and healing and five intellect. I think these are huge, 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 huge additions to the game. Amazing, amazing. You could argue that these are best in slot for damage dealing casters up until the best items in the raid. And I think there's only one uh, one piece in on either location that they would uh, that would be better than these. And it's going to be very, very class specific. Even the Magician's Mantle is nine intellect, five damage right there. It's 40 gold, five damage, nine intellect versus seven damage, five intellect. So it's a little bit less intellect, but uh, but more damage. So I mean, it's you could argue that it's even better than that so you know you you probably want like a mana per five items i don't even have anything on this guy you probably want like mana per five items if you were a healer you know just to have the throughput and you might still want some of those for the long boss fights uh, and, and, all, and all of that but i think these invokers pieces i think that they are absolutely incredible and i could not be happier that they were added these are you know for, for basically two to three gold you have two pre best in slot that will take you easily past level 25 as to the warlock dp Yes, best in slot according to Wildhead is that Magician's Mantle. More intellect, but less spell damage. The Elemental Shaman Shoulder, best in slot is Magician's Mantle. Again, slightly more intellect, but you know less damage and healing. I mean, you could argue which one of those is better. Mage DPS, best in slot, Magician's Mantle. Like, is it really the best in slot on all these? Frayed Chestnut, uh, I mean, five. Like, this is the second best. 
six intellect, two stamina, five damage. And then these don't even have damage on there. Like these, these shoulders are absolutely incredible. Shadow Priest, best in slot. Like these are, these are just below the effectiveness. I'm not even looking at the belts, but yeah, I'm not even looking at the belts. I know that the balance druid is, uh, is Magician's Mantle as well, but uh, I know actually the best in slot uh, for, uh, for balance druids is actually more damage, uh, nature and arcane damage so i know that this is actually wrong anyway we had a couple of hot fixes battle of ashen veil fix reputation gain for killing enemy keeper has been increased that's pretty nice just more rep for ashen veil fixes for ashen veil alterac valley those are always good but this is some pretty exciting stuff as well notable additions uh the paladin snare has been nerfed it wasn't being removed by uh, effects that remove movement of pairing effects but literally across the board, we have buffs. We have a buff to shamanic ra uh, shamanistic rage for shamans. We have a buff to blade dance. You can parry. It's a flat 10% parry at all ranks. It just increases the duration. It's huge. Mana granted by Seal of Martyrdom. 20% damage Paladin takes from the seal was 10%. Like, that's, that's double. That's double the mana return. And then finally, Living Flame benefits and consumes Arcane Blast. This is going to be a huge quality of life for, uh, especially in raids. You're going to be doing so much more damage. And you're going to be healing a little bit more, right? Like I said, if you want to read those blue notes for yourself, they're linked in in the description. No sense in just reading them off line by line. As always, be good or be good at it. I'll see you in the next one.